I pulled another name out of the bucket. Here we go. Some hard charisma to follow there. Put your hands together for him, though. Here we go. Matt Legrand. What's up? I'm gay as fuck. Uh, I went on a date with a dude last week, and he was like, you call yourself a gay man, but you've never seen the Golden Girls? And I was like, uh, yeah, dude, I'm gay because I like dick. <laughs> Not because I've seen some sitcom about four old women in New York. If that was the qualifications, then all of our moms would be gay. Um, Caitlyn Jenner was recently interviewed, and she was asked her opinions on gay marriage. Uh, and she said, you know, it's always been hard for me because I'm such a traditionalist. Congrats, Caitlin, on transitioning from a dumb jock into a stupid bitch. <laughs> um, I grew up in a really conservative home. Uh, my mom is so conservative, she walked out of Zero Dark Thirty because she felt it empowered women too much. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Mom, that's not what was wrong with the movie. <laughs> it was the Muslims. <laughs> Some people are so ignorant. There you go, Matt Legrand, coming in and killing it. Maddie, 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 I love it. Owning it right from the beginning. That's how you fucking do it. Nice to meet you, dude. Funny as fuck. Where are you from? Thanks. Uh, born and raised in Indonesia. Really? Yeah. My parents are missionaries. How did that happen? My parents are missionaries. Well, I mean... <laughs> really good. Really good. Really good. You got me there. Um, so there's so two reasons they don't accept you? <laughs> <laughs> there's more. Okay. So your parents are missionaries. Yeah. What's their favorite position? <laughs> <laughs> Not doggy. So how long have you been in America? Um, I moved here when I was 17. Mm -hmm. uh, went to college in Chicago. And then I, uh, yeah, moved to L.A. two years ago. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So that's fun. Uh, your jokes are amazing. How long have you been on stand-up? I'm um, uh, 10 months in. Wow. Holy so shit. Fun. Thanks. Little I monster. fucking, I hate this guy because he's going to zip right past everyone on the totally. stage. Yeah. You're totally. Your opening joke, uh, just from the beginning, you just own the audience. I mean, you're going to just destroy. If you're, t like, can you imagine him in 14 years like well, the other guy? Well, what's incredible is, you know, <laughs> well, it's just <laughs> such an open lesson for everybody that he is gay as fuck, and he came up and he said he's gay as fuck. Like, if Al said, I'm out of breath and confused, <laughs> we all would have done that. It's like, you, people don't realize, I'm being serious, like, be fucking honest with yourself. And it's a secret <laughs> code to being funny. There's no fucking real trickery. You can't overthink it. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And that's what's crazy is <laughs> the least honest person, Manuel Herrera. Um, I mean, the Golden Girls is set in Florida and not New York, and yet I still was able to love and accept your jokes. Yeah. Yes. I always question that every time I tell it. I should have looked it up. Florida, and it is fucking like absolute. It's actually you know one of the blatantly I, best I've, written I've heard I gotta and funniest watch, yeah. comedy shows of all time. I like, just I watched Sex in the City. Huh. You should definitely. Have, have you really never watched Golden Girls? I've never seen it. Can no. I tell you something? I'm a Betty White guy. You should totally Please. fucking watch it because it's actually okay. funny as fuck. Yeah, really. like, Great. It's unbelievable. One of them was a whore. It's awesome. More yeah. more jokes per minute than I think any other show fucking ever. It's crazy, and they all their characters are all so defined. Yeah, there's a whore, a sweet old lady that says crazy shit, the boss, B. Arthur. And uh, that, that's a dumb transgender one. one. And yeah. Betty White. Yeah. Betty White's like the fourth on my fucking favorite. That's I mean, how cool it is. People in L.A. won't be able to understand how women over 30 are, were able to be on television. Uh, but cool. if you get over that, it's pretty great. I smell a, a spinoff podcast, uh -oh. Golden Pony, uh -oh. talks golden girls. Wow. Ooh. And I know somebody who will never be on that podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, he, you came up and you, you had a confidence that you don't just learn I'm assuming, do you, have you acted or have you done other some some type of performance um no i haven't we'll you are so gay that you have balls on your head right now do you know that matt <laughs> never gotten to make that joke before i've never had a tall gay guy on the show yeah yeah you've been hated and judged all your life how are you able to come up with lots of confidence like obviously that's fucking right how tough has your life been were your parents accepting of yeah um i mean they love me but they think i'm going to hell um, no, no, no. They know you're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it was weird. Indonesia is very homophobic. Uh, I went to a private Christian college. You had to literally sign that you wouldn't do acts of homosexuality. So there. can you give us an example since obviously you made it out? Like, how would you sneak? Would, would you, was there anybody that, like, you hooked up with or anything? And if so, how did that go down? Um, I actually was leading a mission trip in Europe. And you know it's some good dick when you're yeah. risking your life for it, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, I have to fucking suck this uh, dick. No, I, my first sexual experience with a guy was while I was leading a mission trip in Europe. Wow. And, uh, Fuck yeah! So I'm, if you if you were leading it, then I'm guessing he took you from behind. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe nobody <laughs> laughed at that. I can't, how does nobody laugh at that? That got absolute silence. He's leading the trip. Also, this is the so he, he's the bottom. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the first comic to come on stage that Lewis hasn't called a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I can't believe it's still my favorite episode ever. <laughs> but I, I do, I do feel like like the experience is it, there is something to be said for like perspective and hardship that just makes people a better artist. A lot of these like trust fund kids that get into comedy have nothing to say. You fu- all the shit that you've had to go through, and it, it's reflective on stage. You're no, he demanding. means the shit in your boyfriend's assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get back to this uh, thing, though. So you're leading the mission, and uh, how did, you know, are there any more details that you're willing to share about it or anything um, else? Cool yeah, yeah, I'm speaking? super on it. I'm super, like, crazy. open on stage. I talk Love about, it. like, shitting in a man's mouth well, and how do you other know? things. How do you um, <laughs> <laughs> Wow, baby, we are doing it. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> so if you want to know what it felt like watching Al <laughs> All right. Uh, no, but I feel like uh, I feel like when I went on that trip and when I came out, I just kind of had to wipe my moral slate clean, if you will, and just learn from right. scratch. White so food. because I have this feces all over. <laughs> yeah. How did it's you know? Me. How did you know? Uh, like, like when you're when you were at college and on that mission trip, how did you know that the other guy was gay? Um, because I went into a gay bar in Amsterdam. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> uh, wait. You were seventeen. Um. It was when I was 20 years old. That's oh, when okay. I was leading it. Oh, okay. um, and that yeah. was in Amsterdam? Yeah. And it was you... a weird mission trip. I was like staying in hostels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd really. say so. <laughs> no, it was, I was staying in hostels throughout Europe, but literally when I went out, I, uh, I saw one of the rainbow flags above the bar, and I, uh, I waited till everyone on the mission trip like, went to sleep, and I went out that night. And I, yeah, like, you went out to the Brown Hole District. But <laughs> I literally <laughs> I made it to like a cruising bar, and it was like a very, very wild experience. Cruising bars are where they have like rooms for hookups. But uh, the next day, everyone was like, Matt, we heard you were out late, whatever. And they're like, what were you up to? And I was like, oh, um, I felt led to do a prayer roll prayer walk around the city <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, you didn't tell them it was that bad. walk we, while doing bad. that walk you had like your wrist bent or whatever the fuck yeah yeah, yeah he's um, going to hell for that <laughs> That's I just find it amazing there's finally something more gay jokes, in this room jokes. than Tony's voice. Yes, oh. there you go. Wow. They're I mean, taking shots <laughs> at me good. now, I <laughs> see. Shots uh, over your wow. face, Tony. It's How- back on! <laughs> <laughs> it's like the physical embodiment of your onstage persona. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I mean, oh, yeah, that, I have jokes about that uh, <laughs> on my hit Netflix special. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> Matt, let's, let's like a true gay man. I just got plugged. Uh. <laughs> so okay, well that's fucking hilarious. Do you talk about that on stage? Um, I haven't. Uh, how much? I, how long? How, how much material do you have? Like how long? Um, I would say I have the longest that I've done is twenty Eight minutes. Inches? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be the one guy who doesn't talk about his dick on stage. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, the longest that I've done is 20 minutes. Uh, I probably have 25. Uh, I perform every night. I don't understand. A lot of comics come on here, Wait, and this is like the only mic sex. they do. Like, I, I, long as I perform every night, meaning like I have sex every night, like the longest I've done is 20 minutes. Like the longest you had sex is 20 minutes. Pat's trying to hook up. And then the <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Pat. I mean, you, you, what's funny about that is you really fucking cut him off. I to know. Get he that was in, in the middle of a sentence. <laughs> totally like, talking. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Podcast guru, Pat Reagan, I'm everybody. Sorry, I'm sorry. Continue. Sorry for Pat. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was saying. We apologize for Pat. He's tar- set length, 25 uh, minutes. Oh, uh, right. the longest set I've done is 20 minutes. But like, what, what, is it, what are you comfortable with? What's, what's your favorite set, like your material? You're talking this about other still comics that come up here. 
That's what you were saying. Yeah, you said you don't understand how other comics come up here and pat. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. It just happened. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, this is just a uh, just an observation. I've seen this show a couple times, but a lot of people have said they've only done like they go out like once a month or whatever. They'll hit like one mic. Uh, this is the first mic they've been to. It's like if you want to do comedy, why aren't you performing every totally. night? Totally, you're absolutely, absolutely right. And we tell them that every uh, single Monday, would, live. Would oh, yes, Queen. Yeah. Yes, Queen. Would you like to do uh, the Ice House next Friday? Yeah, um, if yeah you can. I'd love to. Okay, wow, good. there you go. Yeah. From the bad house to the Ice House. You always have to wait until the app- jokes don't work in this room if you do them over applause. Uh, wow, well, that, I lost your fucking, uh, oh, there it is. So, so nice to meet you. So fun. Yeah, you Keep too. it up. Matt Legrand. There he goes, everybody. Appreciate great, it. Man. You having fun, Louis J? This is fucking Kill this Tony. Blast, We're doing it, I really right? thought it was just going to be uncomfortable the whole night, and then Matt came up, so. Perfect. <laughs> I love that the gay guy is the only one who hasn't had to find the back door into the industry. <laughs> All right. You son of a bitch. <laughs> eh, sometimes, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> Actually, um... We had uh, we had this uh, Jeremiah. I have a co-host. Yeah, we, 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 he hasn't been around. I mean, he left the show in the middle of the show. Yeah, he got uh, really fucking pissed at you two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks. He got two mad at me. Do you remember why he got mad at me? I don't remember the part of the storyline. I don't remember what happened. I don't know what, what yeah. happened, but I was like trying to get him to come back. Yeah, and he was like, "Fuck Tony." Right. He's he uh, I, and he's like, "I'm really mad. At, I'm really mad at Tony." Yeah. And I was like, "Well, Jeremiah, could you come back?" So uh, I don't know if he'll come back. Maybe I'll try to call him right now. Yeah. Are you calling him on your guitar? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> wow. There you go. Wow, you've been back for seven seconds and you've already played the only two songs that you know on saxophone. Just, I just, I just, <laughs> I want every comic to know that you are coming up here tonight to hopefully get the second biggest reaction of the show. Yeah, <laughs> you better bring a bigger saxophone, bitches. Yeah. You were good, but you weren't saxophone good, were you? <laughs> Jeremiah, welcome back. That was fucking an awesome entrance. Thank you, Tony. We've squashed our beef. It's great to be back. Right, yes. I love this. I didn't know we, this show uh, just crossed with the WWE where we had <laughs> secret rivalries that... Uh, God hates guitar comics. <laughs> I'm not a fucking guitar comic, Mike Lawrence. Listen to me one fucking time. I have fucking fans. I'm a fucking artist, man. I'm a fucking artist, like a real one. <laughs> Okay, like, after going on a rant like that and not getting laughs, I guess you're an improviser, too? <laughs> no. no, dude. No, dude. I make fucking music, dude. I make fucking music from my fucking heart. I don't just do comic book references. I have fucking fans. Whoa! Fucking, listen, my I'm twice the fucking artist. I'm twice the artist you'll ever fucking be. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. You will never come close to my art. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, because I'm like ten feet away. <laughs> it's true. He, he, that's right. Mike. I believe it. He you is. realize that I believe what I'm saying and that it's also true? Oh my god! Wow. Oh Good. man, I wish I had done that to Ralphie May when he was on. When you <laughs> like, oh my Guitar- god. Listen, <laughs> I am not a saxophone comic. I am an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Pat just confronted me like it was the beginning of a music video. I was like, what do you want to do with your life? I want to rock. It's true. Wow. Do we even need to start tonight's show, or can we just do this the whole time? Yeah. Just rock and make girls squirt. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay. That's what I do. Man, I just got Steven lynched. <laughs> yeah, but he's not an artist. He's a hack. Okie dokie. Right. Uh, there's a lot of my real feelings. You want uncensored, Pat? I know is the answer. I could already say. <laughs> who are you that. talking to right now? <laughs> Guess who has beef with the show now, Tony? <laughs> you know what? Wow. I'm fucking out of here. No, don't do it, Pat. No, don't do it. Don't do it. 
<laughs> Wait, what's he doing? He's coming back closer. Oh, oh my god! Oh! oh. Hey, wait, wait, may maybe Jeremiah, if you play one half of a song, you'll come back. Nope. He's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> wow!